Hello everybody and welcome to another video. It's been a while. I haven't posted in almost five months now. And today, we're gonna check out the new WRC update. I don't know anything about this. Um, I think I read somewhere there's some new cars and a couple new stages. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. All right, so I think there's a couple new WRC cars. Yeah, so we have the GR Yaris for the 2024 season. It looks really good. Um, I know there's a bunch of different livery options as well. Let's see if we can take a look at that. I didn't mean to do that though. So, yeah, we have the 2024 versions of the just basic WRC cars. Um, and honestly, they look very, very good. If there's, I don't know if there's a way to look at them better. And we have a bunch of different livery options as well. Only two, never mind. And then we have the 2024 Hyundai. That looks awesome. Looks like the main difference between these and the 23 versions are more um, aerodynamic type stuff. Some of the splitters and bumpers are a little different. Obviously, the livery is a lot different. Um, it looks like the 2024 one has a much more aggressive front end as well. But it looks great. And then we have the 2024 GR Yaris. This one is probably my personal favorite. Um, the rear wing is a little different. The front end is a little different as well. And then obviously a different livery. That's cool. There are some new WRC2 cars as well. Let's take a look. Looks like we have the Rally 2 version of the Yaris. That's pretty cool. And then I think that's the only new WRC2 one. And then lastly, we have the 2024 um, Junior WRC. This livery is actually really cool. I like that a lot. And yeah, so five new cars total, and it's just the updated versions of the old ones. Not bad at all, can't complain. And that's something that's really cool to see. And then as far as I'm concerned, there is two new locations. Yeah, so the Orland 80th Rally Por Portland um, is back apparently after five years. I didn't know that, that's cool to see. And then we have Tet Rally Latvia. Probably saying that wrong, but Tet Rally Latvia is new as well. And it looks like it's a brand new location to the 2024 WRC calendar. Awesome to see. And then it looks like also in the new update, there are 52 new liveries and 104 new drivers and co-drivers. That's cool. All right, well, I don't know how to look at the new um, drivers and all that, but apparently they're in the game, so that's cool. But let's give these new cars and tracks a try. Let's start off with Poland. Um, looks like decent selection. 12 stages have some pretty short ones and then it looks like the longest one is 18.5 kilometers let's do just the shortest one so we can get a look at the new track then I'm going to choose the new Toyota so we're gonna run the new Toyota on the new Poland track and let's see how it looks and how it feels and hopefully it's good here's the new I guess technically old uh, Poland it looks great just from what I can tell so far. I do not have a sequential shifter, so I'm going to attempt to use the paddle shifters and see how that goes. Um, because just knowing these cars using an H pattern is not very much fun, so. Sounds great. Right off the bat, it sounds amazing. If you can't tell, it's been a while since I've played this game. Crest, keep left, and six right over bumps into jump, keep middle, and six left through dip into right over jump, and late five left over over small jump, 40 bump, and five left over crest, 60, six right, half long. 
Gotta say, the car sounds very good. The course also feels very good. Looks amazing, as you, usual. So far, this stage flows very nicely. It feels predictable. Nothing too crazy so far, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This might be my new favorite course, I'm not even going to lie. Okay, overall review. It feels pretty basic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, there was nothing like too extreme or anything. Um, there was a couple hairpins and all that, but... For the most part, it felt good. Um... I think it's just all gravel, which I like. Gravel is my favorite. It looks great, feels great, and yeah, not much to complain about. I honestly really like that. It might be one of my new favorites, honestly. All right, let's try another stage in a different car. Let's do... This one has some asphalt, apparently, so we'll try this one. This time we're gonna try out the Junior WRC car, the new one. And we'll see how that feels. Alright, so here is the new Junior WRC Ford Fiesta. The livery looks amazing. Yeah, let's see how it feels. Five, four, three, two, Sounds very good. One, go. One right onto gravel. One sixty. Five right. Fifty. Slowing. Crest. And late two left. And late four right. Slow down a little bit too much there. Six right, slowing, 40, three left, unseen, 100. Turn here, pin left, short, around bail. 70, six right over crest. And bump, into 330, one left, half long, keep in. Gotta say the car feels very good. That car feels great. Honestly, if you're just getting the game after seeing this video or after hearing that that DLC is coming out, I would recommend honestly starting with the Junior WRC cars 
um, either this one or the other one they both feel fine um, very easy to control you can't like it literally stops you from going too fast so yeah the new car feels great I'm loving this stage um, probably one of my new favorites to be honest let's go and check out the other stage and see what that one's all about so it looks like the longest one on this is 16.3 kilometers it's pretty short to be honest um, to have as the longest stage of the whole rally so that's one thing I can comment about it would be nicer to get some longer stages going up to 18 kilometers maybe 20 just because having longer stages is pretty nice and is a lot of fun sometimes but for now we're gonna do I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that but it's 7.7 .7 kilometers let's check it out and we're gonna do this one in the new GR Yaris Rally 2 car so yeah let's see how this one feels all right so this is the new stage um, very swampy right off the bat looks like there's a lot of water to get stuck in or drive into so watch out for that and then here's the new Yaris um, Rally 2 car livery is pretty basic but I'm sure there's more options that I didn't look at I have no idea what that purple and white pokeball is in the engine bay but let's just ignore it five all right, Two, let's see how this goes. One, go. 100. Five left, long, 160. Ooh, this car sounds mean. Turn two left, half long Titans, 80. Two right, keep him, 180. Four left, half long, 70. Okay, so those are the ditches they were talking about. Good to know. Six right, two hundred over bumps. Six right, eighty slowing. Left over bump, that junction forty five right into crest and make one left into slight right one hundred. Two right short into six left into six right. Small jump, 130. Slight right at junction, 80. Five left, Titans, 40. Four right over. So out of the two courses, or the two new uh, rallies, jump, break, this one definitely seems like the more challenging one. Lake three left, half long. 100. Four right, 120. This one definitely has a higher speed. And you're kind of always on your toes because of the, the ditches that line the uh, track. So this one definitely makes you think a bit more. But it feels really nice. That was cool. I think I might like this one more than the other one, to be honest. Car feels amazing too. One hundred. Slight left, fifty. Honestly, any rally that has uh, chicanes has my heart. Those are always going to be my favorite. Just adds a little extra level of difficulty to it, but it's also very fun. Two chicanes. Yeah, once you get in the ditch, it's not easy to get out. Left in for chicane. Another chicane. Okay. And three left. Half long Titans, 19. So of the two rallies so far, this one is definitely my favorite. Six right over crest and late two left. The gravel is definitely a lot harder. Than the other stage, which I think I like more. Ooh, 
Oh! So that was an ideal. I guess that's the water I was pointing out. <laughs> Okay, overall, I really enjoyed that stage. That was loads of fun. Um, I think I definitely prefer that one over Poland. Um, I love chicanes, and this one had three in a row, which I don't think I've ever seen in a uh, in a rally stage, but maybe I just haven't played enough. But I mean, yeah, that one felt awesome. I think out of the two, I definitely like this one more. All right, so final thoughts on the new DLC. You get 24 new stages and two new rallies. That alone is a lot. So I definitely think that it's worth picking up. The five new cars sound and look great. 20 to $30 is a little steep in my opinion. Um, I think right around 15 would have been better, but that could just be me being cheap. You do get two whole new rallies and 24 new stages to go through. And that's a lot of content to be added. And both rallies honestly feel great. The cars all look and feel great. I think my favorite out of all of them was the new Yaris WRC2 car. I didn't look at all the liveries or anything like that, but from what I can tell, they usually look great. I think it would be really cool to see longer tracks being added next time. I think it would also be really cool to see maybe some older historic cars added. So overall, I'm going to give this update a solid 8 out of 10. It's always nice to see new content being added in any sim racing game because, let's be honest, sim racing games are a little scarce. So yeah, overall, great DLC. I would definitely recommend picking it up. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.